another stream here. Seriously, I'm 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 so really bad with this. I I should get better. I'm terrible sorry for that. Um, but here I am finally with more Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade work. What Nate Nate? Fate Stay Night Fate Vision Novel. There we go. And uh, yeah, last time we did finish the prologue. Yay! That meaning that now sh there will be choices, and I'm I'm actually slightly terrified that I would probably pick the worst ones and ending up with the, the most worthless, bad kind of endings. Because from my understanding, there's a shit ton of different endings. I'm not sure how it will go with those and what will happen. How how it happen? I have no godlike idea. Uh, do we want? No, I don't want to quit the game yet. I I I I'm barely started. I can't quit now. What is extra gold special menu? Oh, playtime five hours, and you're ticking right now. Gosh, uh, I guess there's nothing I can really watch here yet. So we're gonna wait with that. I'm gonna take a moment. Take a deep breath and prepare because um, I said I'm being super hyped for this, and uh, I never thought I was actually gonna play the game or something like that, or play read the game, Fates the Night, the very core of Fate, and uh, reminds me that I myself working a bit on a vision novel now, thanks to this. I getting inspired. I'm I'm in I'm easily influenced by things. <laughs> They're bizarre with that. I'm I'm like that. But you know, I'm gonna wait for two more minutes before I jump start this little thing. So the clock is about 17:55 here in Sweden. Uh, I don't have any set hours yet, which I was streaming all that. Uh, I hope to do so, but. At the moment, I have been very like up and down because of my anxiety and my depression, things like that. And uh, when I feel really bad about it, I, 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 I don't want to stream. It's, it's not that I don't want to entertain you guys out there, but it's more that when I have that, I, I don't, I can't get the energy, the, the thing. And hey, dude, how is it? Welcome to the stream. You're the first and only one here, I think. I hope you have a great day so far, and yes, it's Wednesday. I think it is, right? It's Wednesday, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I have no idea what's happening anymore. <laughs> but yes, so I'm finally back streaming again. Terrible sorry for the long wait, but... Uh... Oh, you finished an exam. How did that go? I hope it went well. Did you examinate it? Well, and then. And you know, I'm not much for X AM. I'm more for X PM. It was a time joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed. We, ign ignore I said anything, we're gonna start this. What the heck is this? I am the bone of my sword. Steel is in my body, and fire is my blood. I have created over a thousand blades, unknown to death, nor known to life. I withstood pain to create many weapons, yet those hands would never hold anything. So as I pray, unlimited blade works. Well, uh, at least I'm thinking it's pretty good. When it's not bad, not good, it's okay. We'll make it from there. When I came to, I was in a burning field. I guess there was a big fire. The familiar town had turned to ashes and I looked like the remains of a battlefield from a movie. But that didn't last long either. The fire had died down by the time the sun rose. The tall wall of flame had shortened and most of the building had fallen. It felt strange, being the only thing in that place that still had its original form. I was the only one still alive around there. Here. Because I, you know, me, me and English, that go well together, I'm terribly sorry. I must have been really lucky, or my house was built in a very lucky spot. I don't know which it was, but the point is, 
I was the only one left alive. I felt that since I survived, I should live on. I started walking aimlessly because I thought it would be dangerous to just stay there. I wasn't really concerned about getting burned up like the people lying around. Okay, oh man. I say, I mean, what? He's, I guess in a way he's lucky and another way very unlucky. Probably because over and above not wanting to be like them, I had a strong feeling in my mind. Really? But still, I had no hope. I was already a wonder I was still alive, so I couldn't expect to be saved. I won't survive. Whatever happens, I won't be able to escape from this red world. Damn you red world! I prefer the blue world, you know? Red versus blue. <laughs> it was such an absolute hell that even a small child can understand it. <laughs> I guess if you're going to hell, you could say, Hello from me. <laughs> oh man, I kind of ruined the mood here. I'm terrible, sorry. And I collapsed. Was it because there was no air? Was it because no function was left in my body? Maybe both. Anyway, I collapsed and stared up at the clouded sky. Everything around me was burned up and I could see many shriveled people. The dark clouds loomed overhead, telling me it would rain soon. That's good. The fire will be put out once it rains. In the end, I sighed deeply and looked up at the sky. I, thought, I say to myself that it hurts. I say so in the behalf of all the people who couldn't even say so. Well, I'm pretty depressive. Depressive? That was 10 years ago. After that, I was miraculously saved. My body survived. But I think all the other things about me burned up and were reduced to ashes. Oh, man. If you take away a child's parents, home and all such things, there's nothing left for him. That's why there's only my body. I think it's a simple story. In other words, in order to let, to let my body live, my heart died. Do you mean physically or metaphorically? I mean, I wrong with that out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... Sound like a fairy will approach? I'm dreaming. Yeah, probably. Huh? Nani? <laughs> I squint my eyes at the white light. So bright, I think. And where's the light entering my eyes when I woke up? But I'm not used to it. I probably didn't even understand what the bright light meant. And kick it in the nuts? Uh -huh. Huh? When my eyes focus, I'm surprised. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> totally agree, you. <laughs> I'm lying on an unfamiliar bed in an unfamiliar room, in an unfamiliar place, in an unfamiliar building. <laughs> I'm surprised, but the room is so white and clean that it feels safe. You're in purgatory. You have died. And hello there. I look around. The room is big, and there are many beds. A person is in each bed, and everyone seems to be hurt. But nothing feels ill in this room. Everyone who's hurt is someone who was saved. I don't. I. 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 I don't trust anything in this. I relax and let my eyes wander. I just imagine that the eyes literally plop out and walk around like. Damn it, there I relaxed too much so my eyes l jumped out and start to walk away. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Sheer logic, it's a, it's a different level. <laughs> Outside the window, the bright blue sky was unbelievably beautiful. I love the blue sky, or the sky in general, it's pretty cool. It's pretty big! <laughs> After a few days, I finally understood. I could clearly remember what happened in the past few days. Even so, I was no different from a newborn baby. Newborn baby! Not just as a metaphor, it was close to the truth. Anyway, it was a terrible fire. 
I had been saved from it. I, I had been saved from it. Was in the hospital with my body wrapped in bandages, and my parents were gone. Well, that's that's that really awful, man. I didn't get the situation, but I vaguely understood that I was alone. I think I understood quickly. Well, more. Well, there was nothing but children in similar situation around me, so all, all I could do was to absorb the fact. Is he like a sponge? <laughs> Uh, absorbed the fan after that, <laughs> that man came. Well, good sir, now you fucking behave. You don't just. Just giving the weird images here. Right when I was beginning to worry about what will happen to me next, uh, that a man came on you. That is, that is, that is actually very worrisome. Carrie, <laughs> rejoice! He came to the day my bandages were taken off, and I was able to eat without help. Wrinkled coat and uncombed hair. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it me? The man, a bit younger than the doctor, felt like more like more like a big brother than a father. Konnichiwa, motherfuckers! A smile that seems seems to melt into the white sunlight. I think it was a suspicious voice, but a very kind voice. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if someone actually said that to me, like, to go to an orphanage or to be adopted by this man, you never seen before. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's kind of creepy when he, that man was saying he, he could adopt me. When I asked him if he was a relative of mine, he said he was just a stranger. Stranger danger? No. Nah. <laughs> he looked like an unreliable guy with no future. But it made no difference, as I knew nothing about either one. Either one, him, or the orphanage. So I decided to go with him. The guy quickly started packing my stuff. His packing was very good, even even in the eye of a child. What are you for, a freaking judgmental kid? Come on, cut me some slack! Damn bright, it's judging my packing. <laughs> then after making big mess. Ah, okay. hey, Jaman, and ah, uh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try to stream. Uh, I'm not sure which hours you were working, but were well home from work. I'm not. I'm not sure. Re remember when? I'm gonna try to stream. Then is that okay? He turns to me lightheartedly and says. <laughs> Is that literally the thing, the first thing? Oh yeah, uh, now yeah, I adopted you. Uh, I just gotta say, I, I'm a sorcerer. Don't be freaked out. <laughs> I'm just gonna use you for one of my s ceremonies, you know? <laughs> I kind of feel bad. <laughs> he says in a serious, exaggerated tone. It happened in an instant. Come to think of it now, I was really a child back then. Uh, I automatically believed those words. And that too, it's a kid, they believe things. <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the kindergarten and say like, "Hello, kids. I'm a zombie." <laughs> oh God! Oh, please don't do that. I'm getting. Nah, nah, nah. I guess I said it's. I said so with bright eyes. Somehow that is something I could see. In, like you know, one of these fucking prank channels. Like, yeah, we're gonna tell your kids that we are sorcerers and run away with them. Since that time, I it became his child. Actually, I don't remember what I said back then, but my father would always talk about that day. He would remember and retell the story again and again. So far, my father, Emiya Kiritsugu, that might have been the happiest day of his life. I like 
Accurate Sug, I miss him from... Oh man, after watching Fate Zero and all that, that was like... A dagger in the heart. I guess it was strange for my father to tell me that he was a sorcerer. But I was strange as well for admiring that. Strange? Seriously? If... I still haven't got an owl from Hogwarts. I'm feeling fucking betrayed. And thus I became an adopted son and my last name became Emiya. Emiya Shiro. When I said my name, I was really proud of having the same last name as Kiritsugu. I'm dreaming. Oh, well, okay. A story from my childhood. It was when I finally convinced my father to make me his student. So it must have been about eight years ago. I was trying to puzzle together the timeline, you know, in my brain. It doesn't work very well, but hey. <laughs> When I was old enough to stay at home by myself, Kiritsugu started to leave the house on a regular basis. He would say in his normal tone that he would be travel the world and actually act on these words. Travel the world? What? 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 What, what was he doing? That's how it was after that. It was normal for him to leave the house empty for a month and sometimes wouldn't come for a half a year. I mean, I'm not a parent, I don't have any kids. But I'm pretty damn sure that you shouldn't leave your kids unattended like that. I guess Fuji, Fujimura was there? The Emiya house is a big Japanese style house and Kiritsuga and I were the only ones living. You leave the bread alone! I mean... There's a kitchen there! Sharp objects! Kids run around with those! It's dangerous. I was perplexed in this house at times. As it was too big for a child. But still, I liked my life here. Emira, Emiya Kiritsugu would come home from his journey and tell me lots of stories like a child. And the child who shared his last name would be at home waiting for those stories. I mean, what is, what, why did Kiritsugu travel like that? Did he continue with his... I mean, I know he was like a mage killer and all that. I have no idea. What did the music go? I kind of feel... Alone here at the moment? I was always alone in the house, but that loneliness would fade with the stories he brought back. Yeah, I, I have no idea where he actually went. It's pretty, pretty, pretty weird. The father who was always chasing his dreams like a kid. His attitude was astounding, but he always seemed dazzling to me. That might be why I want to be like him someday. Well, on top of that, look at my ever-dreaming father. I felt I should become a rela become reliable myself man and yes i'm feeling kind of upset about kiritsugu and all that one day one yay hey one day i okay i wrote it uh about kiritsugu and all that you know that he was pretty much ba banned from entering the ancient baron house so he couldn't meet the uh, ilia and then traveling i mean i i feel so bad for the guy seriously I mean, I made me cry as a fucking pig. I hear a sound. Money. I hear a heavy, old, rusty sound as a door opens. Is it the gate, you know, in Full Metal Alchemist? The gate of knowledge, like... <laughs> light enters the dark shed. Okay. My mind, waking up. Senpai, okitemasu ka? Well, I have something that is awake. <laughs> Feels the cold air and approaching footstep. Oh, yeah. Groaning like that is definitely gonna make the girls like us. <laughs> Sucker smiles and nods as if accustomed to this situation. Then again, I mean, this is kind of nice thing compared to the shit she been through. That was also something I really like. <laughs> pretty nasty. Though I really love to see her in Heaven's Field. It make, makes me re really happy. But I like sleep. Okay, I actually don't like sleeping. I would wish I would, but I don't. And this music makes me think of Stardew Valley. Me and my brother are gonna play that multiplayer soon. We're gonna record a little bit of that. 
Sakura seems more upbeat than usual today, as if she's happy about something. Yeah, Sakura. I, I like Sakura. Uh, let's see, yes, you know the choices you make to have some effect on what ending you get. There's a several bad endings, and a good, and a true ending. Guess, I guess just pick which you feel is necessary. Although, if you want the true ending at the very end, keep in mind. This is Saber's route. I, do you really? I mean, do you really need to? Do you all need to add pressure to me? I can't deal with it. <laughs> oh god, it reminds me when I was playing Wizard's Heart and I'm getting like, No, pick what you pick is the right answer. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm an idiot. What do I know? I answer her with a sleepy head. Ooh. I don't know what I'm saying with my mind not fully awake. <laughs> And talking about endings, I, knew, I, I was told there is plenty of different endings. And I most likely will get all the bad ones because I'm Lano and failing is my business. <laughs> Alright, Sakura, Sakura is giggling. Giggle! <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess my head was still dozing and he, I said something weird. The cold outdoor air, air helps in situations like this. The shield works well to beat the sleepers out of my head. I usually just take a, a club and hit myself in the head a couple times. Either I pass out or I wake up, so it's a win-win for me. In front of me is Mato Sakura, my junior at high school. At school. This place is a shed behind my house, and the time is 6 o'clock. I guess if they l turn on some can light in there, I guess they could shed some light on the situation. <laughs> I'm bad. Okay, the cook I actually read cock, so this became a very awkward sentence. I have to help you. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but hello, Shanley. How's you doing, girl? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I have to have... <laughs> you had a deep breakfast. Oh, God, hey. Oh god. Yeah, I think it's a sense here, but I know what you mean. <laughs> uh Sakura says so in a happy tone, I bet she is. It's unusual, Sakura really seems to be in a good mood this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oof. I'm terrible, so I'm ruining this so much, but holy shit, I I couldn't get that out of my head. Really? Why? That said, I looked down at myself. I'm completely naked! I fell asleep while I was work, so I'm still wearing my overalls. I guess they are overall good. <laughs> Being my work clothes, they are pretty dirty. I can't imagine what Funyuni would say to me if I went into a house like this. 
I would just say like, please, I just need to go to my room and change my clothes, please. I just want to do that. まあ、だめなさめてないみたいだ。ですから、朝食の支度は私に任せて、先輩はもう少しゆっくりしていてください。それにほら、ここを散らかしっぱなしにしていたら、藤村先生に怒られるでしょ。そう、そうユーレス
Johnny Titan. And I did work. I, I tried. Old man Fujimura is in charge of complicated things like inheritance and property taxes. Okay, that is a bit different. Though. Old man Fujimura is the big landlord in this neighborhood. According to father, the old man's like a Yakuza boss. Oh, shite. Of course, this is just prejudice. Or is it even his real name? I don't know. He's not like a Yakuza boss. He is a Yakuza boss. Well, <laughs> well, that's a problem in itself, but I prefer to ignore it. <laughs> okay, my landlord belongs to the criminal underworld. But I, 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 I ignore it. It's better to do that. <laughs> it's certainly true that, <laughs> certainly true that he's energetic and scary, but he's actually not a bad person. It really helps me as it pays a lot when I tune up the mu motorcycle he likes to ride. Anyway, that's why I'm the only one living in this big house. I mean... Doesn't it kind of clash against... His will, you know, with... Being the hero of justice. You have that will here, and then you have a Jakusa boss. I mean, even if he's a good person... I mean, a Jakusa in general have done some really shady, dangerous shit. But we can ignore that. Yes, we just gotta ignore that because I can't take care of my own house. <laughs> it's been five years since father died. The day have passed. How did he even die? And why did Kirisuke need to die like that? I hate that. I wish he could met Ilya at least once more like that. that would be fucking awful. I was sick, thinking about how much I've grown in those five years. I train every day to be like Kirutsugu, but it's not that easy in reality. It's natural because I had no talent to begin with, but what can be said about having no improvement at all in five years? Well, you can end up like me and uh, you pretty much actually go backwards in improvement. Instead of getting better, I'm just getting more shaky, like I'm collapsing. <laughs> to sum up the present in one sentence, my goal is so far away that I'm not even at the starting line yet. That is, that is, that is pretty deep, man. No, I guess it won't do any good to rush. For now, I have to do what I can. Well then. Well then, you could actually turn on the music again because it kind of turn creepy when the music dies off like that. Right now, I should. I get choice. Oh, no, don't tell me this kind of... If any of these actually affect that, oh nay, the wrong one actually gave me a bad ending from the get to go, I will be like, F me. I'll go and help Sakura. I'll go and finish my daily routine. Dun dun dun. <laughs> my god, nay. Okay, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the fucking. I, 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 I can't decide, so I'm gonna roll. One of my many wonderful dice. I don't need that many dice, actually. Up to you. Re ah, don't, don't put the pressure on me, man. Uh, I'm one fat, sensitive person. Uh, one to three, we help Sakura. Four to six, we finish our daily routine. And we're gonna see if we can get this good vision like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. One, we gotta go and help Sakura. Sakura, Sakura, Sakura. There we go. We made a choice! That's right, I have to go and help Sakura. I feel bad, both for letting my junior to do all work and for Sakura coming here so early in the morning. The dice have spoken. But I'm too late. She have already had her car breakfast! <laughs> I'm sorry, people. <laughs> It seems breakfast has already been made. I can smell the elegant scent of breakfast befitting Sakura. <laughs> Nay, what? I mean, now, 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 now I. Oh man, my head is. Oh, I'm, I'm a one fucked up individual. I'm terrible, sorry. Sakura has finished. <laughs> I'm too easily amused. I can see all she has left 
is the new set the table. I'm here to deliver the breakfast. Oh gosh. It's quite bad, man. そんなことはないと思いますよ。先輩は部活をしていないんですから、この時間は十分に早起きです。部活は関係ない。それを言ったら朝練がある桜がうちに来てくれるのも問題じゃないか。When you bring scrubs into it. いえ。私は好きでしていることですから、部活のことは気にしないでください。Sakura is such a sweet girl. Many nice things. That's why I'm not worried about it. If Sakura comes to me, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. For me, waking up early is waking up before Sakura gets here. And sleeping in is making Sakura prepare breakfast on her own. Like today. Though this has only been a habit for a year and a half or so. Tomo Kaku, Sakura is sleeping in. I stand next to Sakura and take out the dishes. Sakura is stubborn at times, and in a situation like this, she won't rest unless she is forced to. Oh my god, stop! Yeah, 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 teamwork for the win, bitches! Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. You're the head? What? What? Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Living room, such noobs. I have a dead room. <laughs> I think it's more lively. Actually, not. <laughs> I really like her expression. It's so cute. And please be a fail. Thank you. Come some. Man, I wish I had a girl like that could be like, Yeah, please be a failure. I don't mind that. I would be like, yeah, it. I'm a failure otherwise. Right yeah, it's true. Damn you, senpai! You don't understand. So you got to know it. Do you got to that? Yeah, none of that. I'm sorry. But take responsibility. I'm not going to eat your senpai's house if you don't eat the food that I cook for you. But please take responsibility, because I can't eat pleasant meal anywhere else anymore. <laughs> oh, that sounds weird. Yeah, that for sure. Damn it! As soon as I see them eat every single time in in the animes and all that, I'm being like, I'm 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 hungry. Damn. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Wow, I'm saying I'm saying weird stuff all the time. It's not very weird. I guess it is. Oh, she got us there in the lock, man. She knows. Saka looks up at me naturally and calmly. Damn Sakura, she have got her own damn will! 
I, I guess think that's a good thing. It's very nice. Well, Fujimura is, is pretty nice. It's a good influence. Speaking soft, the Sakura reaches up for the cupboard. Her silky hair and smooth skin catch my eye. Oh my. Oi, oi. Boy, take it easy. I mean, how can I put this? It's troubling. I just say as it is, you got a boner. Don't worry. It's not... It's natural to have a boner, but... Please. Don't be one of those, these, those dick bags that don't can't, can't control the boner. With a boner comes great responsibilities. As my old man would say. Actually not, I... He doesn't say... She must be maturing as she seems really feminine these days. Her casual movements and her figure are so beautiful that I instinctively look away. Oh, didn't I get to see all those usual details in the anime? I'm just saying. No. And you know, that is one thing good to have glasses. Because as soon as you come to some such situation, you're like, oh shit, I can't look away from this person. This person is too fucking good. I'm like, I can't see anyways now. Honestly, why am I feeling tense around my friend's sister? Are you really considering Shinji the douchebag friend still? The dude is a maggot. Fucking shit. <laughs> After all, Sakura is not like that. She's a good underclassman and a junior I need to take care of. <laughs> First of all, the relationship between me and Mato Sakura is just that of a senpai and a junior. She's a sister of a close friend of mine, but she since. But since she's... What? Uh, protect! 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 You're you speaking my language, Wood. We, were, we weren't that close. It all changed a year and a half ago into this cooperative kind of relationship. Sakura came to cook when I was injured and after that, I think we're just ending up like this. I think we, we intended to do this until my injury healed, but some trivial thing came up to make her stay with it. Anyway, Sakura is a good cook. I'm almost read that wrong again. And a perfect and perfect at cleaning and doing the laundry. Laundry. It's a big help to have her help me around here in the mornings, but it's been a bit troubling res res re 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 recently. The problem is not Sakura, but me. I have boner. Okay. Oh, it looks so lovely. Frankly, Sakura is beautiful. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I had no idea about that. Even if, in um, that sense, she is obviously too young. At least, at least for me, I'm, 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 I'm an old man. But she's one of the best-looking first year, and I'm sure there are lots of guys who want to date her. I mean, this was things we never got to see in the anime. Ah, little Shiro, he has balls. Yeah, and he thinks with his balls. And on top of that, she'd been growing into certain places recently, and some of her casual gestures have started to catch my eyes. Oh, them titties I've been showing. Mm -hmm. It's a booby trap, I say. That's what I meant by a small problem. Oh, what the fuck, have you not seen a titty before? Ah, uh, noob. <laughs> Maybe I'm just feeling guilty about being attracted to my friends. Shinji's not a friend, for fuck's sake. Shinji's... Gonorrhea. Usually I'm fine, but when I'm caught off guard like just yes, now, I blush. I'm blushing all the time. I'm... Yeah, I, that, that is a savage, but she's quickly forgotten all other routes other than Hell's Field. God damn it, Sakura! I'm, though I'm really happy she's getting her own route in Heaven's Field. Hey, Chun Li! Chun Li! Shira has balls! Big enormous. <laughs> Usually I'm fine, uh, but when I'm caught up like that, does it make me unsuitable senpai? Well, I do like pie. I just imagine a big pie now, like, 
Hello, I'm Shenpai. Well, this is this is this is this is the took a different turn I never expected. Breakfast is placed on the table. I just imagine he places his, his I placing my humongous dick on the table. The cock breakfast is served. <laughs> Here is the baguette. A perfect breakfast consists of chicken salad, cooked salmon, spinach, radish, and carrot mizuzu and jam. So, holy shit! I'm just happy if I'm getting uh, a bit of noodles at the morning. Seriously, and this is like that is like a fucking breakfast for a king. Itadakimasu. Sakura and I bow and start our meal quietly. Yeah, I mean, toast. A toast is pretty good, though. I don't even have the bread for that. I have a toaster, but I, you could say, I'm pretty toast. Cheers! The sound of our shopstick echoes. Uh -huh. So now I just imagine there's some creepy shopstick, you know, in a dark tunnel. Like, oh no, it's a shopstick man! Sakura is in the talkative type, and I'm not, ver not versatile enough to talk while eating. Well, I'm not. A, I don't have a problem with that, though. I don't eat and talk at the same time. Naturally, mean times are quiet. Usually, it's loud. Oh, oh gosh, I almost knocked my glass over. But today, the loud person is. No, no, it's me. I'm the loud person here. <laughs> she must have been watching spy movies last night. She I, eyeing us while hiding behind a newspaper. Uh, yeah, yeah, damn kids. Uh, if we don't get quiet, I will fucking kill you and your parents. <laughs> I'm a grown up woman, I do whatever I want. <laughs> she literally disappeared into the magazine. Uh, Fujine ignores Sakura's question. She's acting weird, but Fujine always acts in suspicious ways. During break, what? Why? Is it like she's been? I'm, 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 I'm red in case I will be attacked by someone. <laughs> Sakura must be used to it, as she continues to eat with no particular care. Sakura prefers to make Western food. She's learned to cook Japanese food after she started coming here to help. Fujine and I prefer Japanese, so Sakura learned to make Japanese food for our breakfast. I eating. Well, I took a eating Japanese Chinese food with noodles. That is my breakfast. It's kind of depressing, but hey, when you can't can't afford food, you you eat what you can get. Now she's good at, at good. Blah, blah. Now she's so good that she has almost surpassed me, her teacher, and that the Padawan turns into the master and kill. <laughs> the salmon is especially good as it's cooked to perfection. Well, I, I mean, I don't like salmon because it's a bit fishy. <laughs> Her miso soup is tasty and she has shown some capacity even for making jam soup by grinding jams. Well, it's not my, my, my kind of jam, but... Actually, I think this is the first time she made it. Soy okay. Wait, do they have di their own? I'm pretty sure she would kill you if you try to take her soy sauce, I'm just saying. For you need not. I'll let you live this time. Personal soy Yeah, what is that? I mean, I barely have any soy sauce in my house. House and house. Pretty much, I have this room and a little kitchen. But you know, her newspaper trembles. I have no godlike idea. But seriously, one day when I can travel to Japan, I'm gonna fucking vlog the shit out of it. Not doing as Logan Paul, he pretty much did what you shouldn't do. But you know, I want to be, visit Akishabara and all of those places. I put the soy sauce onto the white jam soup. Mm -hmm. I was staring, I put it on the rice and take a bite. Mm, the stickiness of the jam and the taste of the soy sauce. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love that if you watch it. 
わまずこれソースだぞソースしかもオイスターオイスターブワッうまいゴリボスオイスターソースああフジムラーだもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもし I love her energy. The female spy throws her arm up to show her happiness. <laughs> oh, the big smile! Seriously! <laughs> Dude, I'm turning 22 this year, so. I'm. I'm. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> She's a rough man. Holy shit, she's talking fast. <laughs> man, seriously, I love the voice act. Fujin is sits back down and finish her breakfast quickly. <laughs> she will assassinate you in your sleep and she runs off. There is something wrong with a world in which that thing is a teacher. What? Shiro, you're an ass. I mean, you oogle your, your friends, uh, sisters, boobs, and uh, you're calling your awesome teacher a thing. <laughs> What? あの、せっかくの朝食だっていうのに、藤根のやつ、ろくに味わいもしないで。What food is one of the last things I would ever do. いや、それがさ。昨日ついあだ名で呼んじまった。オリ。ナルニ。めちゃしかたありませんね。先輩、藤村先生に謝らなかったんでしょう。Damn you, Shiro, you deserve the oyster sauce. Shiro is a fucking douche. Man, who is actually the mean one? Shinjo or Shiro? <laughs> and I was awarded a student honor writing on note paper, but I, f I threw it away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> He was. Fujini is like a big sister for Sekiro, so she's basically on Fujini's side. That's good in his own way, but I wish he considered my situation where I have to deal with Fujini 24 7. Dude, I grew up with four younger siblings. I'm the oldest of five kids. And I got to deal with them 24 7, and believe me. Isn't. If you can't deal with one person, then. 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 yeah, come on. Come on, come on. You can, you can do it, boy. You can do it. Virginia was originally an acquaintance of father's and she has been coming to the house a lot since I was adopted. She started to show up even more after father died and she's now almost a dependent eating breakfast and dinner here. <laughs> no, maybe she's why I was able to make it on my own after my father died. I mean, sir, how old, wait, how old, he was five years ago and she is, is he 16 here? I mean, that would make him like... 11 or something like that and I mean no kid should be left alone like that no 
Fujinese Sakura and I are now the resident of the Mia household. But I'm the only one who knows that my father was a Magus. Shiro's 70, okay, then he would be like 12 when Kiritsugu died. So I mean, a 12 year old kid alone? Why didn't, why didn't... Makes me actually wonder a couple of things here, because first of all, how does he pay for the build for a house? I can assume that Kiritsugu worked and saved up a lot of money, of course. That is probably the most likely reason. But otherwise, why, why wouldn't like the Yakuza boss? Uh, you know, uh, we have a little kid there in the building. His papa died, so can you take him so we can use this house for someone else? <laughs> I was wondering, throwing that out. It's said that a magi must hide their identities. That's why I've been hiding the fact that I'm learning magic ever since I became my father's student. I say I say I'm learning, but I can never I can't even cast a single magical spell properly. With this kind of a skill, it wouldn't make much of a difference whether I hide it or not. But because it was how my father wanted things, I trained secretly since then. Nimbu. I mean, if you're watching a little bit of Naruto, you probably could pick up some cool magics there. I finish breakfast and prepare for school. Rasengan. I clean the dishes with Sakura while listening to the news on TV. Raikiri! I know my Japanese. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sakura is staring at the TV screen. Over the screen runs an exaggerated teletype reading. Girls League accidents continue. If you see this suspect... A photo of Lano. Beware, because he have a gas leak. Pretty bad one. <laughs> I just imagine this big fat guy that is AK me that's walking around there. Oh gosh. Oh nay, I killed a neighborhood again. God fucking damn it. I shouldn't do that. It seems there is where a big was a big axe in the neighboring town of Shinto. It happened in a building in the business district. It seems a whole floor of people ran out of oxygen and fell unconscious. <laughs> we call it a gas leak, but this kind of accent is happening often recently. I just assume that it's a bunch of big guys like me that is like, we have like gathered together, we like decided we are gonna gas the world. We're gonna make the world in a hell all the gas. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Workplace? What? But it's not a risk I can completely ignore. Gas leaks can happen in any building, and on top of that, it hurts to think that hundreds of people are suffering. It said, it said that the accidents are happening often because of defective construction work during the rapid development of Shinto. Well, that is natural. Why not just walk around with a gas mask? And then you would be... Or do as they did in the old mines, you know? They had little uh, cages with birds, and as soon as the bird died, they knew that... Oh, God! <laughs> or something like that. And they didn't uh, stuff the mouth with a bird, but cover it. <laughs> Whether that is true or not, I certainly don't want any more victims. Man, we were... <laughs> oh god, I just imagine her standing there farting. Okay, I'm just checking it twice. <laughs> nah, that is... Oh man, that is... Oh god, I'm just ruining this. Sakura boasts with pride. <laughs> yeah, I have thought so before, but Sakura is a bit off too. <laughs> what? 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 Why would you say that? Bolted it? Did he literally? I like music. 
夕食の下準備は済ませておきますねうん助かる<笑>俺もできるだけ早く帰るよ We locked the gate. Sakura and Fujin also have keys to my house, and the rule is that the last person out locks up. <laughs> and if they have a fight in there, we could say they have a warlock. <laughs> I just imagine that a warlock literally is a person running around with a lock and bash people's skulls in. I think that sounds actually kind of reasonable. Fight me! <laughs> I would fucking die if she suddenly, <laughs> when he's talking with Sakura, but you're senpai, and it's like, what? No, I mean senpai. And like, it's it's it's, it's apparently that she's a Cthulhu in human disguise. We walk down the town together, passing a long wall and going downhill. We reach the residential district. My house is on top of the hill, far away from the center of town. Going down the hill takes us to residential district, and beyond that... I don't know. We reach the crossroad at the center of this town. Ooh, there's a bridge here! Bridge here! From here there are many roads, a big bridge leading to the neighboring city. A hill road that leads to Ryuda Temple. The resident is district on, on the other side of town. The shopping district Sakura and I always use. And the school we're headed right now. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get, get the chance to decide on which one to pick. That like, let's go to the Ryota Temple because I remember the coster is up there. <laughs> we head for the school without stopping elsewhere. We don't talk much as we walk up the hill. Since it's still 7 o'clock, there aren't many others on the road. The road again. Others that, other than us, all you can see are a few others heading their morning to their morning practice. <laughs> ah, fucking dad. Have fun at our club? You should say, have fun at your sword or your bow. Have fun at your dagger. I think that is more fun. <laughs> I pause with Sakura at the school gate, like usual. Sakura's in the archery club, so we, ha we have to part here in the mornings. But today, Sakura doesn't go. Shopping happening. I mean, there is obviously something wrong. There's something on her that troubles her. Sakura bows. Serious on me? Am I the only one that thinks something is going on here? Sakura runs off like she's ashamed of something. I wonder what that was. Are you an idiot, good sir? <laughs> I mean, come on. Serious was something obviously that bothered her super much. We should have. We should have. We, 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 we should have. Uh, uh, go fucking fix your uh, machinery, but ignore it. Ignore it. Your friend that needs help. He says he's also cool. I wish we got to see more of him. Uh, he must have been studying as Issei looks up from the papers reading. What? Yeah. I Business at work? Uh -huh. Oh, that is pretty much Sakura's life. Cook breakfast. Cook breakfast. In school. And sleep. 
なあねえ。エミアに同情してもらうのは筋が違う。なあねえ。あや、一斉に同情なんてしてないぞ。あ、うん、私、ペリング。それはそれで無念だが、聞き流すとしよう。情が映っているということでは同じだからな。え、uh? イセイ、who is organizing pay people's reading, is the big boss of the student council room. So you should find a boss I need to defeat. He's the guy trying his best to reform this lax student council, and he's been a friend of mine since first year. His full name is Ryodo Izai. Despite his old fashioned name, he's an elegant feature and is really popular with girls. And no wonder. And he's also the student council president, so you think he takes. To it like a duck of water, but. I, 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 I actually prefer coffee. He has, he, he's just sipping tea like this, so he's not that firm. <laughs> As you can see, Issa has a plain personality.、Um, I, I'm pretty sure he has more personality than you, Logstock. It is easily misunderstood, but he doesn't involve himself in love affairs nor engage in normal student recreations. It sounds like he's、uh, just an ace.、Hmm? Yeah, because he's a success of the Ryota Temple up in the mountains. He's fine with the idea, so there's a good chance he'll shave his head when he graduates. Well. So, what are you doing today? Hmm? Hmm? まあともかく座って一服と言いたいのだが時間がないな移動がたら説明をするゆえいつもの道具を持ってついてきてくれ I mean that would be quite cool in a future about 20 years in the, in the future after this、uh, Issei will be there like a warrior monk as a master summoning his servant、uh, I'm not sure what kind of servant he will summon but it's a servant I already planning a plot in my head. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Well, that is technically how things usually are, actually. I mean,、uh, kind of reminds me of in Sweden,、uh, e sport is not counted as a sport. And that is a good reason for that. It, well, it, good or bad, I don't really know how you. It's depending on how you look at it. But the reason why they don't want to classify it as a sport here in Sweden is because if they do that, then e sport will get,、um, I don't know, support and money from the state like other sports get s now. And that would mean like football and things like that would definitely subdue because e sport is already such a big thing here in Sweden, all of that. So, yeah, I'm right. There's ways to be done to manage, but hey.、Hmm. Instead of getting clubs, they should just get more swords. More swords solve everything. That's some shady stuff. Ask Shiro. I mean, his、uh, landlord is a Yakuza. Yeah, make me think of、uh, Unlimited Blade Works, a bridge.、Mm, this is beautiful heater. <laughs> Beautiful pipes. Beautiful pipes. Beautiful pipes. Beautiful pipes. Beautiful pipes. Beautiful pipes. They are piling up. Yes, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's what's inside that counts. Is your heater working inside? Your outside doesn't really matter. Hmm. If it's broken, we're, you're, you're pretty fucked about that. We're doing our best. 
配線系のショートだから新しいのに変えればとりあえず今年いっぱいは頑張ってくれるそうかやるなエミアお前が頼りになると極めて嬉しいぞあ、ah, really you あ、oh, that is that is not good I mean I we had that in my in my school then again I mean it was pretty small schools but they had th these elements you know sitting at the walls that was what we had That we didn't have anything extra, so if it became a bit chilly, oh yes, strike I Shiro can jerk off this heater. Okay, I know, I know. Izzy leaves the room quietly. It seems he is, assumes that I'm going to do something delicate. Yeah, delicate to be delicate. I place my hand on the old electric heater. Usually, even if you're used to fixing things, it's hard to figure out what's wrong with it just by looking at it. So the fact that I figured out it means what I'm doing is not ordinary. I block off my vision and look inside the heater with my senses of touch. In that moment, I became one with the heater. An image appears in my head. Holy damn! I was really trying to see where, 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 where are the wires broken. I can't see. I have glasses. Good. I can't, I can't fix this with the tools I have with me. If the pipe were broken, it couldn't be fixed by an amateur. If that had been the case, I would have to, to st strengthen it. In a very unamateurish un way, but in this case, just looking at it will surface. Why does it sound like it would sabotage? May oh my god, maybe that is the reason. Maybe he actually do sabotage these, so they would be like depending on him, and he would of course know how to fix them. It's easy for him to break them. <gasps> the plot is thickening. Holy shit! <laughs> that is the magic Amiya Shiro learned from Kirutsugu. I mean, that would be kind of a yes, plot twist. <laughs> I take the cover off and start to work. I already know where it's broken, so the rest is easy. Hmm. <sighs> hey, baby. Don't you feel the music rhythming through your soul? Hmm. <clears throat> Just your mama like making pie. I w oh gosh, this is turning weird. Though it doesn't make up for it, I think I'm quite skilled at visualizing structure like I just did. I did just now. In fact, when I first figured out a structure and reproduced it, my father looked surprised and said, What a useless ability. Wow, the severe burn of Kirutsugu. Thank you so much, Dad. <laughs> I guess my strong point isn't a useful ability. According to my father, it's already a vast of effort to perceive the structure with my eyes. For real magus, there's no need to understand every corner of a structure like I just did. They say that the bell of magus come in reading the center, the core of things, that in of things instantaneously, and changing it faster than anything else. That's why reading the structure is a waste of effort, as even if you do understand the structure, all you can do is determine where magical energy could be more easily transmitted. So, all in all, it turns out that my strong point is just fixing things like this. I don't have to open them up to look for damage. If I can quickly search for broken parts and have the skill to repair them, most things can be fixed. I wish I could do that. I mean, I have computers that have been broken, broken, breaking down and all of that. I would love if I could yell. Okay, I know what is wrong with it. <laughs> Though that's only the case of simple things that can be fixed with amateur knowledge. I pack away the conducting wire that I used and go out into the hallway with a screwdriver, 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 and a wrench in hand. Wrench. <laughs> Hello, girl. I'm... What? <laughs> well, I like butts, and I cannot lie. In the hallway, is someone else apart from me. Say, a girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a bit surprised. The person talking to is, is Tosakarin from class 2A. <laughs> with a defense left 
this defenseless anus. I'm terrible, sorry. I, 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 I. She's a lady who lives in a big mansion on top of the hill, a perfect, honest student. Good looking, smart, athletic, and faultless. She's intelligent. I can't even say intelligent. Green, I like Green too. Well mannered and modest about her looks. People say she's an ideal woman. Woman. She is hardly. She so so. Bleh. So it hardly needs to be said that the guys at my school treat her like an idol. Though in Tosaka's case, she is so perfect that she is considered unreachable. It's commonly believed that only teachers and guys like Issa can even can even talk to her. Yes, this of you are just dead. Well, to be honest, I'm a guy too. Oh no, no shit, Sherlock. Are you a guy? I could have never known about that, Shiro. Some one of the Sakarin's Sak admirers. Oh yeah, uh, you really like to go in there oogling at the girls, right? The Saka looks at us if she's in a bad mood. It seems to be true that she and Issei don't get along. <laughs> Wow. Is he an amazing man talking like that and ignoring Tosaka? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, seriously. Uh, Shiro is more. I, I mean, in the anime of Unlimited Blade Works and all that, you never got this thinking that, man, he's really, really very into the girls. I mean, we never got to see that. In, in most of the time, he seemed like. Bah. But here is like, my god. Mm. Rest in peace. Do CPR on it. So Damn it, her faking their deaths. There's only about 30 minutes left until the homeroom. I'll have to hurry if I'm going to fix it. I stopped for the Avery room with Issei, but it's impolite to ignore her completely when we met like this. I turn back to, Os to Tosaka, who's standing in a daze. In a yeah, way, way, way to go, Shiro. <laughs> I make an honest comment, then following Issei. Oh? Well, okay. <laughs> I don't worry about that. We are friends. Friends help. Yeah. No reason to be is a heads to his seat, relieved. It's exactly eight o'clock. The first homeroom bell has rung, so Fujine should be here in about five minutes. I'm a bit out of breath since we ran here from the Avery room. Taking a deep breath, I head to my seat. Go and eat bird poop. Mato Shinji, a friend, a friend of mine from middle school, stand. Why? Why do you even call him a friend? He is a royal douchebag. You don't even need to think of him a friend. Think of him like a douche of mine from middle school. Yeah, he's a douche. He's an ass. As you can tell from his last name, he's Sakura's brother, who's one year older than her. Seriously, I'm Shiro. I'm actually starting wondering about your personality. I'm starting to see flaws with it. <laughs> what is that? Oh, 
I put my bag on the desk and pull out the share. Nani sore. Nani? Kyomi janakte yo da yo. Bugai shanandakara, oisore to dojo ni kno hendaro. Kedo, nanka atta ra itte kre. Tetsdae r koto ga atta ra tetsdae. Genhari toka yumi no naoshi, shinju wa nigate datta ro. So, thank you. Nani ka zatsu yo ga atta ra koe o kakeri yo. Why? 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 Oh gosh, Nay. Nay, you are actually good. Mr. Yona yatsu wa shushou shikkaku da kara na. Mr. But then, uh, uh, no, I don't think that will happen. Okay. Don't give what? She's what? You made her cry yesterday. Why are you saying telling him to be nice when you made her cry and run away? Shiro, I, 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 I'm actually starting to think that you're. No wonder you and Shinya are actually friends. You're both assholes. <laughs> okay, I'm too hard on the kid, but. Shin returned to his seat in his usual manner. Hmm, he seemed even more irritated than usual today. Haven't gone five minutes. Well, he is in the classroom. He's a concerning friend. Uh, I'm a seriously dude. Seriously, you're the sort to lose your temper easily? What? Huh. I mean, I must say that Shiro's personality seemed to be a little bit all over the place. <laughs> だが意外だったぞ。エミヤは怒りやすいくせに、マトーには寛大なんだな。うん。ああ。あれは真珠の味だからな。付き合いが長いと慣れてくる。え、some things you get used to, other things you shouldn't get used to. That dude is definitely one reason you shouldn't get used to. そんなものか。そんなものです。ほら、納得したら席に戻れよ。Levitating! Levitating! The homeroom home room bell rings. A homeroom teacher usually would come five minutes early, but our homeroom teacher isn't like that. For class 2C, homeroom starts one minute after bell rings. Right when we hear... <laughs> <laughs> and Fujin runs into the classroom. <laughs> Wham! Fujin falls over with a terrible sun. <laughs> the classroom is filled with silence in contrast to the clamor for a second ago. <laughs> Uh, who, who, uh, who do I need to fight? A sudden change of atmosphere. <laughs> yes, as you expect from Fujin. Her nickname, Human Jet Coaster, isn't just for show. <laughs> but it really was a bad hit. Fujin is still on the ground, having hit her head on the platform. What? You can't see her expression with her head facing the ground. So it gives you a bad mental image. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a guard dog when you have Fujimura. <laughs> Mimic? Are you sure about that? 
そういうなら自分で起こしてあげなさいよ。うわ、俺パス。<笑>こういうの苦手。<笑>私だって苦手よ。だいたいなんで女の子にやらせるわけ？<笑>男子やりなさいよね、<笑>男子。あ、Shanley。That that screw is not for you to play with. No, 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 no! Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, cat, cat, lovely! Don't, don't, don't! That belongs to the computer, or my old computer that my brother borrowed. No, 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 no! I got him, cat, please. The front door is getting noisy. As we're in the middle of rows, we can't tell what sort of state Fujine is in. We can't tell, so we're all standing up to look. Just, sensei, you're not moving. 気絶してんじゃないのか。フジネオーバーシリー、いや、アミスルスリー、フジネイス、で、で、should make her the main character。I think that would be way more fun <laughs>。Someone asks。If so, the problem would be how to get her to nurse office。Everyone here is a, a warrior who has been with Fujine for the past year。They probably want to get out of habit of taking the teacher to nurse office <laughs>。藤原先生、あの、大丈夫ですか？ A brave female student calls out her. Fujina doesn't even twitch. A sense of worry runs through the room. Mazuite, Ima no Korobikata. Co, Atamakara Chokakuni Kyodan Nitskonda. Hm, Isonokoto, Yakubu, and Scout of Suruna, Dodaro. What? Yamelo, you're not so you, Odoshua. Taiga, a common Ninata Hina, Uretachi, Koshi, Chimazo. The day she's in, wouldn't that be a good thing though if you want to be in the regionals, I guess? And they sound like, how about we get her for our baseball club? It sounds like they. Oh gosh. Have they killed her? I mean, seriously, can't. If she's really dead, I will be killed. I'm about that. Yes, you need to hide the corpse before the cops come. <laughs> Seriously, these rats are cold. <laughs> really? Oh my god. I need to see that comic seriously. <laughs> the tr the one comic that I the, the one heroine that we need. All our hearts became one. Well, not Shinji and I because we're too scared. <laughs> that sounds so cute. And I ever said it at the same time, it's only loud as a whisper. The tiger part is especially quiet, but still, a twitch. The silent Fujine reacts. Everyone must be stressed from the impending exam. Even though they shouldn't, they repeat Fujine's nickname while waving their arms. <laughs> I mean. Yes, <laughs> make me think of Torodora. I love Tiger. As the main character and not Fuji, <laughs> she's done bravely as she, as the fall had done nothing at all. <laughs> Fuji stands before everyone in her usual manner. It seems all memories from the moment she entered the classroom have fled her head. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you should call her that again. Everyone returns to their seats, chatting. 
になるか先生のことバカにしなかった<笑>えしてないっすよ気のせいじゃないっすか<笑><笑>そっかならよしじゃあ今朝のホームルームを始めるから<笑>みんなおとなしく聞くようにマナスラ、I love the music! フィニスタートホームルームスローリー。シャツインビトゥインアナウンスメント、そういうわけだから、みんなも下校時刻を守るように。ああ、sorry, I don't think you can't put the links here. 文言は6時だから、I don't think you can't put the links here. I think you can't put the links here. I gotta try to fix that blue book. えぇ、ー、6時って言ったらすぐじゃんか。タイガ先生、それって運動系は免除されないのされません。それと後藤君先生のことは藤村先生って言わなくちゃダメなんだから次に名前で呼んだら怒るからねゴトクンはい以後注意しますゴトクン sits down not showing any signs of listening to her how stupid of him フォジネ gets mad when she says she will it makes no difference that he is a student she is a teacher he doesn't realize that she just gave him a final warning それじゃあ今日のホームルームはここまでみんな、3次元目の英語で会おうねー<笑>あみんな、うらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっうらっ According to her, it's unfeminine. Are you, are you, are you kidding me? Tigers are fucking ladylike. I mean, that is the biggest fucking pussy. Okay, that's came out wrong. Ah, but you know what I mean. Tigers are awesome. But she's that kind of person, so I think she has her, her own fault. She has an unfeminine nickname. Unfeminine? It's not unfeminine. Then again, I was called Otter in school. You know, an Otter. Because back then, when I was a kid, believe it or not, I was very small and thin. Unlike now, I'm the opposite. I'm big and fat. I'm a f- I'm, I'm a fat otter. I'm a father. <laughs> you sound like a fucking robot. <laughs> the teacher of the first period enters as Fujini exits. It's like this every morning as Fujini continues homeroom until the very last minute. At the class end, like every other day. There are many kinds of students. One that go to clubs, ones that hurry home, and the ones that stay in classroom for no reason. I'm the kind that went always hurry home because I wanted to go home and play my games. That was what I was always doing and reading books. It looks like I won't be any of those categories. Cat, 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 cat. It's not a good thing. It's not like I'm just playing around. After all, the main reason I quit the Archer Club is because I wanted to prioritize work. It's already been five years since father died, and I decided to start work to pay off my living expenses. Okay, so there we have why he. I mean, now I'm not an expert on living expenses, but. Considering the house and the prices and all that,、uh, I think he needs a pretty big,、uh, well paying job to do that, considering the size of the house. I mean, I live in a small apartment and it's pretty expensive in there. Maybe just me. If you work a lot, there are some jobs you just can't refuse. There is an example. They were stocking inventory at work and they asked me to come if I can. Okay, okay. I, I, I got very, like, you know, like, is this sentence actually correct? I、uh, guess me being an idiot. But it's certainly not something I have to, have to go to. They're probably just having people come in because they want to party after work.、Hmm? There are two options. I. Help me say. I go home and masturbate to. Okay, that's. that's I'll go home and. I'll go to. Oh man, I need. Ah,、oh, god damn it. I need to, I need to, I need to decide. Should I help the school? Or should I. I'm awful when it comes to options, man. 
Can't I pick both at the same time? I'm like splitting myself. One half go and help the student council and the other one goes to work. Doesn't that work? Maybe not. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, I do rock, paper, scissors. If you win, I'll go to work. If not, if I win, I go to the student council. Rock, paper, scissor. Okay, I, I, I. <laughs> There's game. <laughs> ah, okay, we're gonna go earn money. And the type. Fate Tiger? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's not like something. Uh, oh, man. Tiger is the last boss. I didn't promise to be there, but I said do my best to be there. So I should do so. We're gonna go and earn our mini. ああ、レーのアルバイトか。そうか。それは困らせたな。アドバイザーマン。明日の朝一で続きをするから。それでチャレンジしてくれ。うん。そこまで深刻な話でもないと言っただろう。急を要していたものは今朝で片付いた。
Why is the rum gone? Neko-san is drinking a hot sake next to him. The family is well balanced as both bo the bows. The bows like sweet things while his daughter likes spicy things. I like both. So. Mm, he has me free 10,000 gem bills. A reward unmatched for the three hours of work I did. Much more that I would get even for a week's work. Oh, dang. I hesitate but decide to accept what, what, what I'm given. And as I'm leaving Copenhagen. Uh, excuse me? Nekosan stopped me with while curled up in front of the heater. えっと、確か古見さんですけど。学生に自分の仕事を押し付けるんじゃないってのよ。ハドバカ。まあ、それはいいとして。何じゃあ今日の棚卸し、また聞きだったのに来たんだ。Well, idiots flock together. いいけど。君さ、人の頼みを断ったことないでしょう。前に私と父が風で寝込んだ時も店番してくれたし。別にそんなことはないですけど。俺、無理な注文 Nekosan circle a finger while drinking some hot sake. She seemed to think I'm a firefly or something. <laughs> Man, we are rich! Let's blow the money on booze and hookups. <laughs> I made it from the neighboring town of Shinto back into Miyama, Miyama City, but I was daydreaming. That was dang daydreaming, I say. I walked through the moonlit town. Walk. I hear the wind speaking my name. Walking up the road, I noticed there aren't, aren't any people around. The time is around 7.30. There should be people around the, at this time, but there are no sign of anyone. So, yeah, there was some crime here in Mijama City a few days ago. A burglar murdered someone. I think. Well, that is pretty fucking awful. That must be why there's no one around and why the school curfew became 6 o'clock. No wonder there are fewer people walking around at night. It's getting too dangerous to let Sakura go home on her own. Sakura's house, house is in a resident area on the other side of town. Starting tonight, I should walk her home. For a moment, I can't believe my eyes. There's someone on the road which I thought was empty. The person is standing above me as if looking down at me. <laughs> hey, Ilya! Without realizing it, I hold my breath. The silver-haired girl smiles and descends the hill without a sound. As she passes... <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's what I want to hear from creepy girls on at night. If you don't summon, you will die, Oni-chan. <laughs> she says something strange. Yeah, no. You have been saying lots of strange things too. I'm just saying. I go up the hill and reach my house. Was that it? I mean, I, I, I would actually assume that he would like turn around like, what the fuck are you saying? No. Okay, not like that, maybe, but like, excuse me. <laughs> As the lights are on, so Sakura and Fujane must be home already. I smell the dinner the moment I enter the living room. At the table of Sakura and Fujane, in the middle of dinner. 
Between, okay, yeah. It seems the main dish tonight is chicken and cream and food. So the dinner is chicken and cream and food in here? Well, that was white sauce. I won't, <laughs> I won't comment on that. <laughs> um. Oh gosh, and the, yeah, the whole uh, Carnival Phantasm. Uh, I'm at, gonna. I have Carnival Phantasm and uh, Prisma Ilya to watch very soon on my channel and all that. But man, this is. Whoo! It's getting hot in here. <laughs> うん。いいです。ちゃんと間に合いましたから。ちょっと待っててくださいね。すぐ用意しますから。うん、頼む。手を洗ってくるから人のおかずを食べないように不自然を見張っといてくれ。Washing my hands. Okay. Ah, I think you can feed Fujinie. She deserves that. She deserves some good food. I return to my room. It's a fairly empty room compared to the shed, but since I don't have any hobbies, I think it's quite decorated. Seriously, you should get a hobby. Play some video games. Most of them are random things Fujini has left here, though. I like the laid-back sounds. I wash my hands, change, and return to the living room to find my dinner ready. Itadakimasu. Hmm, the kind of fan Tsukihime. Yeah, well, I haven't watched Tsukihime, no. I'm not sure how it's how it's related, but maybe it's a bit of a clash there. I hope it's your lick. Okay, liking. Zagar is ter terrible modest. Her cooking skill has vastly improved in the past year. She has completely beaten at Western style food and can barely beat her at Japanese food. Neither of, of us touch Chinese. I'm pleased my pupil getting better, but it's kind of depressing when the teacher is defeated by the student. <clears throat> it as good as I expected it. She can become hard the longer you cook it, so it's juicy and tasty if you roast it before cooking it, even though it's tedious. That's done perfectly. It's a master skill, forever beyond the clumsy Fujine. And it's like Gordon Ramsay would be in there, like. I'm getting hungry just seeing this. Seriously. Feed me if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> with that, Fujinia, who had been preoccupied with her food, lifts up her head. Bread boy. Ah, it seems she's in bad mood now that she's seen my face, even though she was happy because of the dinner. Well, I guess she will have that kind of face. You, but you just look at it. You're like, yeah, maybe Shiro is the reason Shinji turned to an asshole. Now. <laughs> あのさ、わざわざホームルームで言わなくてもうちで言えばいいんじゃないのうん、ah, uh, okay. I'm not sure how big uh, or how many episodes Tsukihime is on or is this movies? ここで言っても聞かないもの。学校でガツンと言った方が白には効果的なんだもん。and Tsukihime is definitely something I really need to watch as well. I mean, part of this fight universe! What? Beauty, you are 40? Respect my authority! Bakujin. バカチンとはなんだよ、バカチンとは。いいじゃないか。誰かの手伝いをして、それでその人が助かるんなら、そんなんかしてないぞ。Flawless logic. What? It's so bad that people say it doesn't exist? 
Really? Man, that sounds that sounds sad. I'm curious on that though. I don't exactly know how she is worried as she's energetically munching down her dinner. <laughs> あの、藤村先生。今の話からすると先輩って昔からそうなんですか昔からそうなの。なんか困ってる人がいたら自分から手を出しちゃうタイプ。けどお節介ってわけじゃなくて、白はね、単にお任せなのだ。Precocious? What the fuck is that? But you know, I need to take a break for now, but I will be back more streaming soon of course with more fates tonight. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see if I can start streaming daily and set up a good time and all of that. So, thank all of you that have been watching here, though. See you later on. Have a continuous super great day.